All right, it is a wonderful, beautiful weekend in San Diego, and we are headed to hike around Poway Lake, and we're gonna take you all along with us. But first things first, we have to get the baby ready. Landon, are you ready for this little hike? What do you think? Wake up, buddy. Wake up. <laughs> yeah, I think you're ready. Let's get you in this cute little fox outfit. Um, hi, Landon. What's up guys? I'm Chelsea and you're watching Chelsea Explores. Thanks so much for joining me on this video. Today we're going to be exploring Poway. We brought baby Landon with us. It's a little bright out here. Today we are doing a little hike around the lake. It's called the Lake Poway Trail. This is on all trails. It says it's 2.8 miles long and it's rated as easy. So we'll see how it goes. We plan to bring everyone along. We plan to bring the stroller. We brought the Ergo baby with us to see if we wanted to carry him out on our chest. But we brought a stroller that is supposed to be able to go on bumpier ground. So we plan to bring that on the hike and check it out. Our first hike since having baby Landon who's right here. Say hi. Here he is. So the hike is rated as easy, like I was saying. We started off our afternoon with a picnic. It costs about $10 to park to get in here. I don't know if they take credit card. We paid $10 cash to get in. There's tons of parking spots around here, tons of parking lots, and then this is a huge park in general. There's a lot of people here just playing football, playing catch, people laying out, having a picnic, reading books listening to podcasts. We saw a gender reveal here. And then it sounds like at certain times of the year you can even actually camp at this park based on what the ranger said. Down below there's some paddle boards that you can rent and do a little paddle around the lake. You can't swim in the lake, but you can paddle or you can fish. Rent a fishing boat and fish for the day, which would be fun to do. There's also some other popular hikes around here that we will make videos of in the future. But this is a great area to hang out in. It's a beautiful spot to spend your weekend at. It's located in Poway. If you're new here, thanks so much for joining and I hope that you like this video. And if you are a follower, thanks so much for following along and I hope you continue to like my videos. Don't forget to press that like button and subscribe as it does help the algorithm. But let's get to the video. Mwah. a beautiful array of food to make sandwiches so we had some delicious sandwiches and now we're just relaxing in the grass before heading out for a walk around the lake our first uphill we decided to bring the stroller along this trail and it's doing pretty well. So we have the Bumble Ride Indy. It's made for all-terrain places like this. Perfect spot in San Diego. So just a little ways in, we have a stop, porta potties Oh, look who it is. Oh, hey guys, <laughs> don't go in there. Oh, it smells bad? It doesn't smell good, but it felt good. So if you do need a bathroom, Along the way, there is a porta potty. But also, nature is nature, and if you gotta pee in a bush, you can also do that. I do have an article on how to go in the outdoors, if you know what I mean. I'll link that in the description Why box below. Okay, so eventually you're gonna come to like a little, what, a Y? You'd call this a Y? A Y in the road. You're gonna see this sign here. So when you're on trails, always remember to follow the seven principles of leave no trace. So you know, keep packing out your trash, keeping wildlife wild, tons of things. I talk about this a lot on my blog, on my website, and in every outdoor article. So make sure to leave no trace. And then over here you'll see the sign for all the different hikes. This is where you get to that classic potato chip rock hike all the way up here, which one day we'll make a video for you on that, but not today because we're only one month postpartum. 
and it's a very hard hike. But if you turn around this way, then you'll see a bench over here, and then I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little trail up there that leads to a picnic bench at the top, but for the Lake Poway Lake Trail, that's the loop, you're gonna wanna head down to the left, left of that sign. We made it to the spot where Dan and Pops are feeding Landon. Hey, hey look at Lando. This is what you have Super to do fun. when you have a baby and you are on a walk. It takes triple the amount of time. <laughs> but this is a beautiful spot to stop and eat some lunch or feed a baby, rest. It's great. So now we're kind of in the back hills up Poway behind the lake and it looks like the trail goes down all the way around and then way over there back up. So we have a little bit of a ways to go. All right, when you get to this sign, you're gonna come from this trail right here. Go all the way up, straight across, up this hill. section to the hike. So although this hike is rated easy, there's definitely some uphill portions to this hike and some downhills. It's like shaded in parts of the hike and sunny in others, so definitely bring a hat wear some sunscreen, bring a light jacket because it does get a little cool in the shaded parts. I wear a tank top underneath as you can see what I'm doing, but it's just beautiful. We're in the hills, back hills of Poway. I'm out of breath, as you can tell. But we're finishing up, we're rounding the corner up this hill. Okay, when you get to this spot, you're gonna wanna take a left here. So we got the lake over here. You'll eventually come to another Y. Take a left. We've officially made it to the flat part of the trail, rounding the lake, the end. This was a little bit harder than, I'd say easy, as I was showing you guys, there's an uphill. So some things I recommend, definitely bring water. Um, we didn't bring that much, and I don't think we knew what we were getting into, which is not like me. I always bring water, but I always carry my Stanley water bottles with me. I absolutely love Stanley. I think I have like 10 of their bottles. They keep them everywhere around my house if you guys don't know. I personally like the one that closes on the top. I have ones that I keep around my house that have a straw in them, but this is also a straw type. Let me show you. So the straw comes out. I had to do that one-handed. Perfect for hikes. It actually fits in our cup holder. That's what I love about Stanley fit in our cup holder on our stroller and I'm out of breath again. But bring your water, people. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week for another video on Chelsea Explorers.